Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com and right now I have the iPhone 6 Plus and the Nexus 6. I'm gonna go ahead and do a comparison of Siri and Google Now, uh, both voice activated search functions. I also wanna talk about the application itself. Some preliminary thoughts. I've noticed Siri is kind of more conversational in a sense of kind of seems like more of a person as opposed to Google Now being very more robotic. Just let me get you your information and not be conversational at all. All right, so let's compare the two apps. First of all, to open them on the iPhone, it's very simple. You press and hold the home button and it actually activates voice search like such. Now on Google to activate voice search, you can tap this icon, which is persistent in the Google Now launcher. Again, keep in mind that it's gonna be different based on what Android phone, what launcher you use. Uh, you'll see the Google search bar stays persistent up here, or you can swipe to the left in the Google Now launcher and it will bring up Google Now in general, or you can also press on the home button uh, on some phones and swipe up and it takes you to Google Now as well. Now, Google Now is more of an app in a sense of it displays information without having to use voice. Um, whereas in Siri, you have to actually press and hold the button and it will say, what can I help you with? And you have to give some voice commands. Now, you'll see information you can plug in sports, uh, you can plug in stocks as well, all that good information. So on the app side of things, Google Now provides more information without having to use, I guess, voice search. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do some voice searches on both devices. Now it's important to note a few things. First of all, how quickly the information gets to the phone and is displayed to you. Uh, I guess what is said if for whatever reason someone responds to a question that I do ask. Uh, how well it's displayed, how nice it looks on both devices, important to note that and also how much information was actually given in that specific response. So like I said to start, uh, Siri is a little bit more conversational. So if, for example, if I wanna just have a conversation, I could press and hold the home button. Hey, how's it going? Excellent. See, Siri just says excellent and doesn't display any results or anything, um, whereas Google Now doesn't even respond and just gives search results. Again, kind of a gimmick, really no need to ask a phone how they're doing so but like I said just to give an example of how it's a little more conversational so now let's get started I'm gonna do just I, I honestly I don't really even tested these yet I just have questions random questions that I came up with in a notepad and I'm gonna go ahead and ask them what is the tallest building in the United States checking tallest my sources in the United here's States some information America include Willis Tower at 1451 feet Trump International Hotel and Tower at 1388 feet and One World Trade Center at 1368 feet all right so that's kind of conflicting information you'll see Google now talk for a lot longer I also gave pictures of the specific uh, buildings except for the Trump International uh, it says the One World Trade Center is 1368 whereas this one says it's 1776 uh, I noticed Siri gets a lot of information from Wolfram Alpha. Um, this will get it from various things such as Wikipedia and such. Uh, but now I kind of want to find out which one's right, which one's wrong with the One World Trade Center. So I'm going to say, how tall is the One World Trade Center? One World Trade Center is 1,792 1, 1, feet, feet tall. Now I understand why Google Now responded wrong because it looked at this first number and uh, not this 1792 number in the results. So I guess the Siri was correct, but it didn't display as much information as Google Now. Okay, let's continue on. I need a recipe for lasagna. Okay, I found this on the web for I need a recipe for lasagna. Okay, as, you, as I said, it's more conversational. Siri responds with voice, pretty much with whatever you say to, to it, uh, whereas Google Now did not give any voice response, just listed uh, results. Uh, so you got web search from both of them. However, both do have a different look. So you'll see Google Now has the pictures next to the web page, whereas you can scroll down and you'll see more images right here. It also says, did you mean uh, easy lasagna recipes, etc." Uh, and it uses Bing. So Siri uses Bing. Um, I don't know if there's a way to change that or not. I could actually look into settings, but I don't think there is a way to change it from Bing to uh, to actually Google. All right, let's try something like, remind me to let the dogs out at midnight. Here's your reminder for tomorrow at 12 a.m. Okay, okay. do Shall you I want to save it? this? Yes. Okay, Saving I'll reminder. Remind Okay, so you see both worked well. Um, this one listed a lot of things. Uh, this one took a little bit longer than Siri did, uh, but both asked for a response, a voice response. Uh, so it says, reminder saved. Okay, I'll remind you. Let's try another search. 
How old is Matt Damon? Matt Damon, Matt is, Damon 44. is 44 years old. Okay, so the voice response was a little bit quicker on Siri, so it gives more information. So um, you could, it'll show a picture of him on both. Uh, gives his age right here in big letters and his birthday, whereas the birthday is a little smaller. But it gives a little uh, snippet of the Wikipedia page on Matt Damon. Um, this also says people also search for here's these people and how old those people are as well so depending on what you're looking for uh, it does give different information did you mean so and so and then it'll just give you a list of actual uh, results on Google let's try another what is the tip on sixty three dollars a fifteen percent right tip would be nine dollars and forty five cents all right, so you'll see different information provided. Google now uh, was a little bit quicker on that one, so it's back and forth with uh, speed. Um, tip calculation, 2% uh, is 18%. 18 it says the amount uh, amount of tip, 1134. So if I go to 18%, it should say 1134. Uh, I really like this. You can actually edit what percent you want to do, a number of people if you want to split the amount of tip per person, et cetera, the total. Uh, so this definitely trumps uh, serious response in, I guess, tip information. Convert six pounds to ounces. Six pounds Check is 96 in. ounces. Here's what I found on the web for convert six pounds to ounces. All right, so I'm not exactly sure why it didn't convert. It just gave a list of web search, so a little bit different there. When is the next Chicago Blackhawks game? The Blackhawks are playing the Coyotes, Coyotes game starts at 7.30 p.m. All right, there we go. Both telling me their record, who they play, what time they play. Uh, this says United Center, so it gives you, obviously, uh, it lets you know Blackhawks are home since they're second. Uh, it gives them the place in their division. That's kind of nice. Um, and a preview video. That's kind of cool. So it gives you a preview video of the actual game. Somehow it found that. Now there are Easter eggs on both of them. Both of them are kind of novelties, not necessarily useful. I guess I can try one of them. What does the fox say? Now, one important thing to note is that this actually still gave a list of uh, search results, whereas Siri did not. It just kind of said what the fox said where and same to same to Google now just they both said something different um, it just kind of as an Easter egg but it also still gave search results I'm drunk neither of us is driving home so there you go um, this is something that I like actually you can say call me a taxi uh, whereas Google now just kind of search did a Google search for I'm drunk now another thing that Siri kind of has over Google now is actually changing settings on the phone so if I wanted to say turn Bluetooth on okay Bluetooth I turned on Bluetooth settings. this actually has to open settings whereas Siri just said okay I turned on Bluetooth and Bluetooth was on whereas you have to manually go in turn it on and same with if you want to turn it back off and other settings as well such as Wi-Fi uh, so controlling the actual phone settings is better within Siri as opposed to Google now alright let's try another one is it going to rain tomorrow no, it doesn't rain look like it's going to rain tomorrow with champagne the forecast is 37 degrees and partly cloudy okay so two different information provided uh, the forecast is a little bit longer on the iPhone whereas this actually gives you information about projected weather based on the time and you have a little scrolling bar here so depending on if you want to see more days versus hourly um, it's kind of up to you on which one you like better now the final one I want to do is maybe something like sending a text message so let's try this send a text to Jason Ephraim what's the okay. message what do you want to say to Jason Ephraim hey how is it going do you want to send this yes ready to send it yes Sending message. All right, so it says it couldn't be sent. I don't have a SIM card in here. Done. Uh, this says it, no SIM card installed. Obviously, it's not going to send either. So Google Now is a little bit quicker just because it caught some of what was Siri was saying in the message. But still, both do very similar things. Uh, that's kind of something to note that they're both very similar. Uh, both technologies have gotten far enough where... Uh, they're they're going to give you similar information based on what you search on, but in a different way. As I said, Siri's conversational. They're going to respond to you no matter what you say. So if I said something like, where is the couch at? Here's what I found on the web for where is the couch at. 
Okay, now if I said that to Google now, where is the couch at? Same thing, just gives a list of web searches on both of them because it's such a random thing, but you'll notice Siri did respond, Google now did not. All right, but that's just about it. Very similar, I like how uh, Siri can control phone things such as Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, etc., and Google now cannot. Uh, Google now gives, I guess, better weather information for me because I like to use the scrolling and find out what time it's gonna rain. Uh, but overall, some of Siri was quicker at some of them. Google Now was quicker at some of them. I mean, there was that little discrepancy with the tallest building, which probably isn't going to happen all the time. Just kind of depends on what the web the web search is going to give them. And Google Now kind of translated it wrong, so Siri won there. But I mean, overall, both gave information. Both are pretty good at doing what they're supposed to. Uh, so honestly. I I find both of them to be helpful. I don't like Bing, so if there's a way to change this from Bing, let me know. Um, I'd like to use Google. I don't know if that's an option or not. I, I'm assuming it's gotta be. So someone comment, let me know how to change this to Google if I can, but that's it. Let me know which one you like better if you've used both. If you haven't, which one you think worked better in the video. Uh, happy to hear from you guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Google+. All links in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching.